I want to make a video here on this a new scope I got for my Desert Eagle. This I uh, replaced the old scope. I was never happy with it and I ended up picking up one of these AIM Sports it's called a pistol scout scope so I'm assuming you can put it on a rifle and it's geared more towards the budget line of scopes but actually for a pistol it's probably like the normal price of a scope because pistol scopes don't tend to be all that expensive because they're usually pretty low powered but the scope I was using was one of these vector optics scopes it's a 2x20 you could see the tube here and I was never happy with it because this is um, it's as far as it's called a, a pistol scope like a a dedicated pistol scope it's not referred to as a scout scope like the new one I got but I was never happy I don't know if I can get it on film but you can sort of see here the the way the around the rec reticle it has a like a fog around the outside a constant black fog around it and it's really hard to pick up the crosshair like it's sort of um, it's hard on your eye to pick up the crosshair so I never really liked that though like the fog is sort of looks like it's inside the scope the, like black around the uh, crosshair so I was never really happy with this one so I ended up picking up this aim sports scope and this is a 2 to 7 powered scope it's a little bit different because it, it can be used like it says as a scout scope it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean it's dedicated to pistols and using this scope I don't know if I'll be able to show it on camera but the it, the um, the sight picture is much much more clear and it has a real sharp edge around the crosshair now when you use it on a pistol you can't really go past the two power you might be able to get it to about three if you if you adjust it past that the scope wants to be closer to your eye every time you adjust it it wants to be closer to your eye so on a pistol um, especially like a desert eagle you don't want to be holding this as close as um, like close to your face so really you can only use it at its um, two possibly at the max the three power which is perfectly fine because most pistol scopes are only two power so it's just you won't get the um, maximum use out of the the seven power if you're using it on a pistol like I am this scope also has something really neat and which is why I really like it for pistol it has a integrated laser into it and um, it's excellent for the Desert Eagle in particular because the the Mark 1 Desert Eagle the uh, well any Desert Eagle the scope mounts directly to the barrel and you can take the barrel off and you can bore sight with the laser because you can see directly through the through the barrel so you can use the laser just as a bore sighter you don't need to use it as a necessarily an aiming device which is really cool that they did that and then also because of using the scope really they're at close range of, um, you know within 25 yards it's it's very hard to use um, um, a scope you know it's, it's almost useless because you don't have enough time to aim with it so using the the laser as your aiming device within 25 yards is excellent too for uh, a pistol scope the the only complaint I have about this scope is if you look at how it's built it's hard to show on here but the the drum here on the side that the crosshair doesn't seem to be perfectly centered in the scope with this with this drum that's on the side the drum seems to be pointed down a little bit to the side like it's just a budget 
scope like it was a cheap scope so I give it a pass because really as long as the crosshairs are perfectly centered in that I really don't care where the little uh, dials or any of the other tools are it, it it doesn't really matter to me one other thing to mention is um, it has the dual illuminated red and um, green reticle like the crosshairs but they're actually quite hard to pick up when you turn them on even at their fullest power the red's not too bad but the green is kind of hard to pick up they very much look like they are here on the box that's about as bright as they get they don't get like super bright um, and um, like crisp like some of the more expensive scopes it really doesn't matter because I don't you can't hunt with handguns in Canada so it, it doesn't really matter green tends to wash out in snowy environments like where I live in the, in the winter time and that green sort of washes out and I don't hunt at or um, shoot at dusk or dawn or anything that I would even need the the red crosshair anyway so that's just my just personal to me why uh, you know it, it's not a big deal it may be a big deal to to you so I'm just uh, bringing it up but the scope is also its weight isn't very bad at all um, I'm not sure if it gives you the weight it says the weight is 23 ounces which it doesn't feel very heavy like it doesn't feel much heavier than this little scope here by Vector Office. I don't know the weight on it but when you have it on like this particular gun like it, it might matter if you were shooting a smaller pistol but on the Desert Eagle and that it doesn't really make much difference because it's such a heavy pistol to begin with and I'll give a, another tip about mounting a scope to one of these Mark 1 Desert Eagles because it's not the same as the uh, Mark 19's the um, like the newer Desert Eagles especially the newer ones with the Picatinny rails on the top when you get a mount if you don't get the factory mount and you're gonna mount to this because I assume you wanna go not with a the 11 millimeter dovetail like comes from the factory I assume you'd wanna go to a Weaver or a Picatinny type rail when you get a mount you have to make sure it has one of these little set screws in the top this little screw what it does is it keeps it it's not to um, to balance the the scope what it does is it keeps it from going back and forth on the gun when you when you fire it like it keeps the the mount from loosening up so if you find one of these mounts I would make sure it's it's got like the four screws for tightening it down but then I would also make sure you have one with the set screw so that the the mount doesn't uh, work its way loose so I thought I would uh, bring that as a tip for um, at least mounting a scope but anyways this AIM Sports Pistol Scout scope I would definitely recommend it um, I find it to be perfect and even if you're not going to use the 7 power reticle it works better at 2 power than the actual fixed 2 power scope so I definitely recommend it if you if you come across one and um, yeah other than that I um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say so uh, thank you for watching